So um, yesterday's recording was messed up. So um, I decided I'm just going to do an abbreviated version of the lesson. Over on the left is a rough version, and it's still not finished. Uh, it looks darker on the screen, as always. Uh, and if you could actually, uh, unless you're typing the lesson, I need you to stop working. Uh, so, uh, Lewis, turn your screen so you can see. All right, I'm leaving that in. That's now going to be on YouTube. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up to image, canvas size, and this is just so I can change the canvas size as I'm working. So I'm just going to zoom in. Uh, let's see, the width I'm going to make 20. And down here is where it expands, either from the left or from the right, or it expands from the middle. I want it, I'm going to place the artwork here on the left so it gets bigger to the right side. So I'm going to make it twice as wide. And I'm going to do a, a side by side. I'm going to click on the background down here, actually. I'm just going to name it BG. All my work, I do that. And then I'm going to. Command uh, T so I can stretch and I'm just going to hold down the shift so I can stretch it uh, Asymmetrically if I if I leave it and I stretch it will it will grow uh, Exponentially uh, in all uh, Ways that you're, you're dragging it. So I'm going to double click it I'm going to bring over I'm going to copy and I'm showing you all of this because this might be helpful for, uh, let's go back, let's do this. I'm going to go up to the top, grab, uh, I guess everything apart from this one. And I'm going to go over here. So I've selected everything apart from the background and I'm just going to uh, command uh, option, sorry, click and drag. So now I've made a copy of it. Up here, I've clicked on auto select for the layer. So if I was to zoom in to any one of these bubbles, I could I could select any one of these bubbles and then I could right click and I haven't this is where I haven't named the layers yet I could right click and I can I can choose any layer that I want as long as I've named them these would be like bubble one bubble two bubble three <laughs> you know if I was to do it like that but I, I don't think I will and in fact let me just duplicate this bubble and put it back there because it felt lonely all right, and I'll, sh I'll add more reality. I'll get down to this granular level and add more reality to it. It's a little bit too sharp uh, as well for the image, but I'll, I'll fix that. So the highlight on this cup, I'll show you what I did again. Um, actually, I'll add to it. So I'm going to go P for pen tool or click on the pen tool over here. I'm going to zoom in and I'm just going to click and I'm going to drag it and then before I let go I'm going to press the option drag this line down because it's a straight line I could just make that little dot disappear let me zoom in even more let's do that again so I got there to there I can drag it out to get the curve that I want I match the contour of the cup and then when I want to come down, I press the option. And then I can either drag it down in the direction or I can click it right there. And then I, I got right down. Either way, you'll see what works best for you. So I'm going to come down this way a little bit. Press the space bar to get the hand. And I'll do that side. Now I'm going to hold the option again as I bring the handle up. I'm going to come over to this side, add a bit of a curve to it, press the option, and then back up the side of the cup. So I'm going to zoom out.
and then that's uh, because I'm zoomed in a lot. That's all right. That'll, that'll work. All right. So I've got that. Over here, I got the path I just created in the paths window. If it isn't showing up, go under window, paths, and it will pop up. I need to keep that. So I'm going to double click it. That saves it. I'm going to hit OK. So I can go back to this at any point. And as I click on them, it will highlight the, oh, that's on the other one. It, it will highlight the paths. It's just that these paths are for the uh, other cut. So I'll go back to this one. And now let's fill this with a white color. So I'm going to go 100% white. I'm going to click on the Make Selection. And this is uh, Marching Ants, they call it. Right, I'm going to go up to the layer. Now this is where it gets, this is where it, it gets a little crazy. What I should have done is, let me see if I can zoom out. Um, I'm going to click on this. I'm going to go up to there. So that's the first cup. I'm going to right click. And I'm going to say, put all this in a group from the layers. And I'm going to name this Cup 1. This is just organizational um, situation here just to kind of help you. So there's Cup 1. And by turning that one on and off, that whole cup disappears and shows. The steam for that one is probably in the other layer. All right, so I'm going to go up above the cup. That I, so I'm going to go up above these layers. I'm going to create new layer. So down here, I've created new. I'm on the layer up here. And this is going to be right cup highlight. I'm going to zoom in. I'm going to get a brush. I'm going to make sure that it's a soft edge brush so the hardness is brought all the way down to zero. And maybe I'll make it a little bit bigger. A little bit bigger. Well, too big. Remember the open bracket and close bracket to, um, to, uh, let me just undo that a minute. in brush and I'm going to shrink it and I'm just gonna paint along the inside that was a little too much I just wanna go on this edge like that that's better so that the edge fade out, so fades out a little bit that side alright that's better now I'm going to I'm going to do the, uh, what should I do? Let's do, let's do it the, the easiest, um, is it though? Let's do it an easy way, arguably. I'm going to create a big oval that kind of matches the, um, the cut a little bit. I'm going to bring it down this way. I'm going to rotate it to kind of mat, ah, oh, crap. All right. Well, that might work as well. That could work actually. Let's do. I selected that. If I go up to the move tool and create, if I press up, I'm just creating enough separation. See, there's multiple ways. And let's do another one. Go up to the move tool. And I'm just creating those bars in the window. Kind of works. Let it go. Not the ideal way. It's still a little off. Um, let me see. How can I transform? I'm going to try distort. I just want to distort this a little bit to. Um, I 
make it match the contour of the and you can warp as well so i'm going to double click that all right so i'm happy with that now what i'm going to do is filter blur gaussian blur and choose how much blur that you want you want to be able to see those window bar separations just enough maybe somewhere in there now i'm gonna hit opacity someone's definitely working over there not advised um all right so i got that unless you're submitting incredible work all right and then i'm going to duplicate this one to kind of double up the layer you could do that by option clicking on the layer and then it duplicates it and then what i'll do on this one actually is just get the eraser and just kind of erase that edge a little bit and again it doesn't look too great on the big screen but it's better on the smaller screen and possibly on youtube when this is up um and it's really like what is it that for you would would make the cut work i might put a big line over here new layer let's do edit stroke uh is it edit stroke file image yeah stroke let's try 20. Uh, let's try stroke 30. i'm going to deselect it command d i'm going to blur it blur gaussian blur and again a little bit like chrome ceramics glass they got these harsh then I'm going to go over to the eraser. Uh, they're not back yet. They're out. Colin. No. no. And then I'm going to only one out at a time, please. Just reduce the opacity. And it, it's just the little tweaks like that. Again, it doesn't look necessarily um, perfect. Now I just duplicated that one and kind of brought off to the side and I'll lower the opacity on that one. So there's no right or wrong. It's just, it depends what lights are in that room. Um, you know, I'll leave you with that. That's enough to kind of um, get going. All right.